So data warehouse is a mainly it is a designed for analysis okay data analysis okay it is designed for mainly for analysis purpose okay so let me change the font okay so what they will do after analysis for example you analyze some data whatever the data you are uh, extracting somewhere so you are analyzing based on the analysis you are doing something right so here also they are going to do after analysis the data analyzing the data they will take a decisions that's why we called as a data warehousing is a decision making system okay data warehousing is called a decision making system why they are going to build for the data warehousing means so for they are going to extract their all the data whatever the business happen for them can take any domain insurance domain finance domain health ins healthcare domain or retail domain okay telecom domain any domain so what are the transactions they happen for the for their business on daily basis or weekly basis or whatever the transaction they are happening so that data they have to analyze the their data how is happening their my business okay so based on that they are going to take some decisions that is the reason they are going to build for the data warehousing okay so this data you want to build the data warehousing they they need some tools to build the data warehousing that tools is called as a etl tool and ba tool okay to build the data warehousing they are going to use for the these two tools they are going to use one is the etl tool one is the ba tool so etl is nothing but the extraction transformation and then loading the etl naming convention is extract transform and then load so ba means business intelligence ba is nothing but the business intelligent okay ba is the business intelligence so yesterday i discussed some of the etl tools and ba tools first we'll go recap etl what are the etl tools are there in the market then you can able to understand whatever we are going to discuss okay at least you are familiar with the tools so one of the tool will be informatica informatica power center okay next will be one second guys yeah so one of the tool will be informatica the next one will be talent oda sap bods okay ssis okay next will be data stage abinishio there are so many tools are there guys in the market so these are the major tools okay frequently they are going to use some other tool okay query search they call as one is a query search so there are so many tools are there in the market okay now so any one of the these tools they are going to use and extract their source data okay extract the source data i'll explain you those things what are the bi tools guys power bi obie okay power bi obie sap bo cognos tableau click view some micro strategy is there micro strategy tool ssrs like there so many are there the tools also bi tools also okay based on these tools they are going to generate the build the data warehousing so this is the back end validation this is the back end tool this is the front end tool the client who or the end user is there that end user is going to access this bi tool okay the end user is going to access the ba tools because of here we are generating the reports by using the ba tools we are they are generating the reports that reports they are going to able to watch and then they can able to take a decisions okay i showed you yesterday some of the reports right example i am going to show you one more time before we going to some other topics yeah this report you can see 
so this report they are going to each day wise they are going to generated so division division name so what is the division means men's is one division children's is one division accessories misses juniors fragments all those things they are the divisions okay each division wise what is the sales happen for me how much sales happen in each day what are the day i selected that day what is the sales happen okay so this all are i will explain you later point of view first you can see this is the report this kind of reports they want the company level report this is the overall all the company all the stores irrespective of the stores how many stores are there you have for example one store two store or the 100 stores or 200 stores or if you want you can select only one particular store it will show the that particular store that particular data it will show how much sales happen for me on the on particular day okay that is the like uh, this kind of reports they are going to generate and then they will take a decisions they will take a decisions what is happen my sales compared to last year this year what is happen for me it's happen the this month sales happen the minus 6.3 compared to last year same day it's happen the more sales but now this happen the only 104 so i got loss will be compared to last last year same day minus 6.3 percent like that okay so this kind of such kind of reports they are going to generate in the real time point of view okay and then they are going to analyze their data that is the purpose they are going to build for the data warehouse okay so next come to the data what is data so we called as we are talking about the data warehouse data warehouse first of all what is the data what do you mean by data anyone guys have any idea what is data which one we called as a data collection of information sir yeah so whatever the where the transactions generating for example you are going to any shop okay so you did you purchase something you so you order or you can take a flip card you ordered something okay means one transaction it generated that transactions is called a collection of information that information we call as a data okay the data is nothing but the collection of information this data they are going to store into some places different different places they are going to for example this only i am saving into here means this information whatever i wrote here i am going to in the notepad okay or some places they are going to store into databases okay or some places they are going to store into the legacy system or application web application somewhere they are going to store the data whatever the data is generating that data they are going to store into the some web applications or data or external tables or not tables legacy legacy system somewhere they are going to store okay that ex- that what wherever we are going to store that data that data we are going to extract and then we are placing into the data warehousing okay once the data is placed into the data warehousing so we are going to analyze that data for the using the bi tools clear guys so so we kind of two ty- two kinds of data is there guys here in the as part of the in terms of the data warehousing the data is categorizing into two ways okay one is a transactional data or operational data transactional data and analytical data so these two ways they are going to deriving the data into two parts then the data warehousing system they treating as a data in the two parts one is a transactional data one is a analytical data so we call as this one we call as operational data also or both are the same operational data or transactional data so what is meant by transactional data so what are the transactions happen for example take any atm or any central shop any mall any any machines atm so at the time of the some amount will be there today they 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 invested in the atm okay they deposit almost 10 lakhs so so today 10 o'clock they deposit 10 lakhs we don't know how much amount will be there after 12 o'clock 
we can't, we can't judge right how much, how much amount is there today. So, 10 o'clock they deposit the 10, 10 a.m. they deposit the 10 lakhs. After 12 a.m. we can't say how much is there. It may be 10 lakhs or it may be less also. We don't know how many transactions happen between the 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. Or one, so after 1, 1 p.m. we don't know how much transactions happen. So we can't analyze this data because of the, the transactions happening minute to minute or immediately frequently it is going to happen there some transactions here. It may happen, it may not happen, but we can't analyze this data. Okay. Or if you complete the day, so today is the 7th, right. So if day is completed, now we are in the 8th, on 8th, we are in the 8th day. Can you analyze at what time the 10, 10 a.m. what is the amount is there? At 12 a.m. what is the amount is there? Sorry, 12 p.m. So 12 p.m. how much amount is there in the ATM? At 1 p.m. how much each hourly also we can able to analyze the data? Because of already the transactions already, the day was already completed. Correct? Day was already completed. So we can able to analyze this data clearly. At 10 o'clock 10 lakh is there. And 12 maybe 7 lakhs is there or 1 p.m. maybe 8, 6 lakhs is there, something like that. We can able to analyze this data. But in the same day, we can't analyze because still the transactions are happening on minute to minute or something. Every minute or it, it may be, it's happening the transaction. So that is the reason this transactional data we can't analyze. Let's keep on changing the data here. The, based on this transactional data, they are going to derive in the, this analytical data is going to derive into the transactional and then they are going to analyze the data.